Jealousy is like witchcraft. And if it's like witchcraft, probably you might never attain your dreams. who are new to this channel my name is Sifa Katami and this is the place where you need to be in our last week's discussion we actually talked about love what love is what love entails and in the same contention today we are actually going to talk about love in family I know you've heard of people saying this is my friend so she is family I'm not referring to those kind of people I'm referring to people who are able to come together or who belong to the same unit and they have been tied down because they come from the same bloodline okay i'm referring to blood my name was you know your dad your mom your siblings basically that nothing else okay so i know you're asking yourself question yourself why again why are you talking about love in families we love one another yes that is what you think but according to me i feel like we fake so much we fake so much saying I love my family members but in reality there's no love or maybe I would say a smaller percentage or a bigger percentage perhaps love their families but there's that particular portion that have no idea on how to conduct themselves they have no idea on how to bring love in their families I always say in a family for love to be there for love to grow there ought to be friendship the same way you love your other friends that's how you cultivate love in it. So also in a family, you need to be friends first. We need to be friends first with the family. So let me go down. Let me start our discussion. I think I've already started, right? So uh, why do you think I'm talking about love? It's because I feel like um, in a society that we live in, at times we put so much effort outside and neglect the inside. What do we mean by outside at the inside? Outside is whereby uh, we have created so much time for our friends, okay? And we have forgotten our own family. You get me? So our own family is the inside, those people that we have neglected, okay? So I always say it's very important. And you know me, yeah, I know, I think you get me. It's very important to bridge, it's very important to build love in a family is very important to promote or to bring friendship in a family why so because by doing that it evades so many things it helps um you guys to be united and just agree a reason as to why you always hear families uh you know my sister is jealous of me my uncle my brother is jealous of me why because you never created that room of friendship for love to start in. So, saying this, I'm not ignorant of the fact that we have families that are super toxic. Imagine staying to that family, staying in that family, sorry, in a place whereby um, your sister is very toxic. How? She takes your stuff and she quarrels you down, okay? And you cannot talk about anything. Like she's the one, she's the same. She's the cock of the house. You know she's the mother hen of the house like she has to speak everything and for you is to listen as much as she is on the wrong she doesn't care that is not her journey it's the problem is just you and for you you're just there to listen and hurt and hurt from Monday to Monday you know I'm not ignorant of the fact that we have such families and that is why we have in this discussion today so how can we bridge love how can we build love and friendship in a toxic family or in just a normal family okay i always say key number one thing if you want love to strive if you want love to be in your family the first thing that you have to do is you need to be available availability and how do we become available in our families at any particular time when you're called for or really not called for you avail yourself okay a place whereby you are just there 
okay and your family members know she is always there for us you know a place where by by uh, let me say you are able to take your family or spend your family spend with your family okay let me say it's a weekend all of you have been busy from monday to friday and you tell them i know it's a weekend can we just have a dinner moment you know spending time with them and in that dinner is whereby you're able to know your family members well sorry uh you're able to know your family members well you're able to engage in different conversations getting to know their dreams getting to know what they love getting to know what they like and i always say as much as you will spend time uh, let me say with your siblings and your parents again, I always add it's also important to have good time or creating time just to spend time alone with your siblings. In it, you're able to learn one another and appreciate one another. You know, you get me? Because these are the people who, who are going to around your life, people who are going to knock your doors, these are people who you're going to uh, just share some moments with. So it's very important. Ask yourself. When was the last time I even talked to my sister? When was the last time I created time and went home to spend time with my siblings? When was the last time I hung out with my brother or with my sister or with my mom or with my dad? Ask yourself those questions. Huh? Do you feel guilty? Guilty as judged. Let's say availability again is a place whereby um, you don't show up in your families after five years or after a year, okay? You create time in a place whereby even if it's a monthly thing, even if it's um, after two months, okay? Calling them, getting to know how they're doing. These are your family members. You wouldn't put so much effort outside and again forget to do the same thing inside your, inside your household. Is it actually fair? Is it fair? I don't think it is. So it's important call them as much as maybe they don't like receiving your calls at least text them you know let them know that our sister or our brother is always there for us okay and i always say especially in their best moments uh in life like let me say their birthdays their graduation ceremonies show, show up you know it's always important to do that uh once in a while you can gift them surprise them i know we buy so much gifts to our friends but how often do we buy the same gifts to our own family members? Yeah, think about it. So it's very important to do that. Point number two um, is accepting your family members the way they are. And sorry to say this, I'm gonna say most Christians, we tend to judge, okay? Especially if we are coming uh, from a family where it's divided, where we have some are Christians and some are just rooted into secularism. Yes, they know God, but their life is so much into secular, okay? And we tend to judge, and by judging, we push our brothers, we push our sisters away. And because this is a family, you have to accept them the way they are and pray for them in secret, okay? Yeah, you wouldn't say, you know, my brother smokes or, you know, my brother drinks or my sister drinks so much. I don't like her traits and those other secular things that they do. And therefore, you don't want to have a conversation with them. You don't want to spend time with them. Uh -uh. You're lying to yourself. You have to spend time to you have to spend time with them. It is very important. By doing that, you win them. You win them over to you. OK, they, have, they feel like we are not being judged, you know but you are applying wisdom in it. Point uh, number three, uh, it's a place whereby um, you as you, you are able to do what? I do I have a point, I've talked about availability. I've talked about, okay, yeah. Other thing is all about communication. How you communicate with them really matters. Let me say, uh, a member of a family has really annoyed you or this particular member likes annoying you not only you but also other members of the family so how do you do it you have to apply wisdom you only have you have to wait to a time where this particular person has calmed down and that's when you have again to use uh, you have to be very careful on the choice of words that you use. For instance, let me say your sister has annoyed you and she's always a toxic member in that particular family. How do you deal with that? You have you wait, to a, you wait at a moment whereby she has calmed down and she is okay and you're like, hey sis, you know I love you so much. 
you are my sister i treasure you so much but i don't like this this and this you know you're applying wisdom to bring love and by doing that definitely a sober person will with time start realizing hey you mean despite me being this she's able to sit down with me and still appreciate me as her sister you know that is about um family issues uh another point uh when i want to talk about a love in a family love in a family is whereby um we are able to even um i've said i've talked about spending time together and something that is very key is that i always hear of people saying uh you know i've put a wall i've put a bulwark and my sister or my brother cannot get closer to me you know you cannot put a bridge you cannot put a bulwark you cannot put a wall to your siblings you can't put a wall for them why it is not just good it's not it's not cool at all so what can you do you can only put a wall when you're not in agreement with their character traits it doesn't mean that you hate them but you dislike or you hate the character that's why you're putting a wall whereby you cannot probably um allow them to do some stuff okay when you are around them okay or you will not go with them at this particular place because that is not what you believe okay that is i think that is the only place whereby you can place a wall okay like you cannot pass this here and talking of it i know you say oh let me now start doing this or i have been doing this there's something of caution that i want to say as much as are you trying to build love or a time uh, as much as let me say you're now trusting your members with everything you have to understand um you have to understand that in all these things there are those things that you wouldn't share with your own family members especially when it comes to dreams okay you will share with them common dreams but there are those particular dreams that you will feel it's better for me to stay with them in my heart because I know once I share these dreams to them, probably you know your members. Someone can just be with you. No. <laughs> so be careful, apply wisdom, know what to share. Reason being, maybe you know them, maybe you know their hearts. I'm not saying you got, but probably you know their heart, you know? So you have to apply wisdom. Okay, because you might share so much with them and with that they might do something about it. You know, I always say jealousy is like witchcraft. And if it's like witchcraft, probably you might never attain your dreams. So be very cautious, be very um, selective. You can share with them some of the dreams, but those very important dreams in your life, keep them to yourself. Only let them know want to attain but that doesn't mean that you don't love them you still love them you're just protecting yourself you are just protecting your future so that said guys have a, the most brilliant amazing week okay so again this is your girl Sita Katami with how do you say without much further ado something like that okay have a nice time until next time take time until next time have a brilliant time until next time be safe do you and love your members love your family it is important it is important yeah very important i love you